Hello there, and hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Now, first you have to take is a cardboard or a paper rectangle. Now you can make it into a rectangular shape, and then you have to cover it with masking tape, and then add fabric mold it to it, and you can try to make it in this shape. Now I'm trying to make this shape. You can see, and like this shape. Now it's very necessary because this will act as a base for the eyes of our Iron Man head. So once after you do that and once after uh, that's completely dry you can see over here what you're gonna do is take some new mixed clay and then add on it. Now we are gonna make the middle portion of our mask and men mask or and men help you can call it. So keep so first I have to do what I have to do is smoothen this up and do keep an image of Iron Man's face at a side. Always keep on observing and measuring the images. Now what I'm gonna do over here is take some measurements of what's the actual size and then I will try to make it in a proper shape. Now you can follow what I'm doing over here. I cannot say exactly that do this, do that and then this mask or shape will be ready, right? Now you keep on observing the image and you can see that what kind of shape his face helmet has. So I'm currently creating the face plate as you can see and now I'm trying to give it a shape from both the sides. And I'm doing constant measurements over here. Just observe and you can create it in this way. Now also after taking some measurements I have also given uh, the I've given him the eyes. Now I can't do that on video because I have to measure it properly, which uh, so I can't keep my hands in front of camera. So that's how I can remove the eyes. I can see over here. And once this is completely dry, then only start to create the upper part. If you don't do that, then the problem is that you might damage the face plate. Only the middle face is the most difficult thing. Now the upper part is something which is kind of easy. And now I'm currently trying to create that. And the middle part is a bit difficult. So I'm trying to give it a proper shape right now. Once the clay is a little bit more dry or you can say more in a hardened state, then you can it is easy to you know make it a more smoother finish. Now since the whole upper part has been dried up, now I'm currently making the chin part, chin part of this Iron Man helmet. Uh, first time what I'm gonna do is just add a proper clay over there and once this clay is dried up like after around 30 to 40 minutes, then I'll try to give this kind of shape. Because this shape is difficult to come out at start when the clay is very soft. Now currently I'm adding the side, doing the below lower chin part. And once after that is done, and since the clay is, has become much harder, I'm trying to give it a more proper shape because that becomes easy for creating metallic shapes. Now you can see over here, it's done and I'll let it harden completely. And now I'll do the side parts over here. Now, as you can ob keep on observing the image about regarding the shape, I don't show the image at side right now. But yes, once you see the whole image, you will completely understand what I'm doing. The only trick over here is keep on doing parts by parts because it's not possible when you're working with ferrocrate molded, it's not possible that to create whole thing at the start. Now I've given this shape and since after it has been dried after around 40 minutes, now I'm trying to give it a shape using a spatula. Now you can see what I'm doing, just trying to press the spatula over it and the shape comes out to it like that. It is not an easy thing over here, but yes, you surely can do it. Now I've used a brush, I've removed the old, this is an old brush, I've removed the brush hairs from it and I'm using it to give this kind of shape over here. And once after you do all these things, you can also add the more details over here. It depends on whatever you want. You can skip some details as well. If you're doing this for the first time, you're doing it for that start. And to show the upper layer a little bit above the lower layer, I'm going to do this is pressing the lower layer with the spatula like this. But the upper layer looks like it has come up a little bit. 
Now, this is just my techniques that I've showed you right now. You can create it with your technique as well, but I feel that these technique is the one of the easiest ones that is available. Now, also I have to sand this a lot. There are some areas where there is a lot of scribbling or the glaze rough. So I smoothen it up once after a sanding, but I'll show that in the painting process video. Now there are now there are chances that you might not get this as it is in the first try or you might even create an even better version of this so it depends on how you practice this and how you are familiar with this clay so i think this is enough and see you next time with a new creation